Hello, everyone, and welcome to our next episode of Star Wars The Living Set. Joined again by Will. Good to see you, my friend. Good to see you. Super excited to bring you two more cards here at the Star Wars Living Set. So tonight we actually have card number five and number six. Uh, we actually have Bosk and Val. So, Will, I'm going to turn over to you to talk about Bosk, one of our favorite bounty hunters. Okay, Bosk, most of you probably know if you're a fairly big Star Wars fan. Some of you who aren't that big might not know about him. But that's why we're here, because we're going to tell you about him. So his full name is actually Bosk Wasak Krodask. He was uh, in Clone Wars, and he worked with Aura Singh and Castus to mentor Boba Fett. And during that, we all know that uh, Mr. Mace Windu, maybe, have killed Boba's dad. So then in that in that little series of episodes, they are trying to get back at uh, Windu to help Boba. And then during that, their attempt fails, obviously, because then the Emperor does that for them later in the Star Wars universe. And then uh, Boba and also uh, Bosk both get arrested. Uh, the actor is Alan Henris? Harris. Harris. Alan Harris in episode five, Empire Strikes Back. So when I, so when I think back of Bosk, the first time we saw him, like if we think back of not necessarily in the Star Wars lore, or the yeah. Star Wars time frame, yeah. the first time we saw him was episode five. Yep. Right? So that was when I was a little kid, probably younger than you even. And, and all of a sudden they made this movie called Empire Strikes Back. And they brought in these bounty hunters. And, and and as a kid, I was like, I don't know what a bounty hunter is. And all of a sudden, there's these weird guys standing around talking to Darth Vader. And there's all these people that don't really have any lines. We don't know their names. We don't know why they're there. But then all of a sudden, they created these cool action figures for them. And one of them was Bosk. Very, very cool characters. They have some really great bounty hunters that you'll probably see most of them in later episodes. Very cool people. And then we saw him again, allegedly. Allegedly. In Jabba's Palace, right? Um, he was allegedly in Jabba's Palace in number six. Got it. Okay. Allegedly. Anything else about Bosk you want to talk us about? Uh, he was actually... Uh, so for, for before we go into that, I'm going to talk about all the different... How many they made, graded, all that stuff. So they made 2,205. They have been graded by PSA, 120. And there have been 87 PSA 10s and 33 PSA 9s. And cool. then finishing off our good friend Bosk, he was also mentioned in Solo by Val when they're talking about why did when she goes, why did we hire these newbies? Why not the Van sisters or Bosk? And I'll continue to talk about Val. I'll bring it over to you. It's amazing. It's pretty cool how they actually made these cards together, right? So they always release two cards at the same week. So how they tied Bosk and Val together. Uh, I actually thought it was pretty cool when I when I saw Solo for the first time when Val said that. I think they were sitting around the campfire, weren't they? It was when they, it was like a, what's it called? A, when they're like walking past. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I'm it, not sure when it was. but it, she, it was like from far away, They you could just like see them like vaguely walking. Yeah. It was right before the campfire. And G then she was like, but you brought in these newbies. Yeah, and, and then they talked about Bosco's like, I know who that guy is. Mm -hmm. Right, so that was pretty cool. So our, our sixth card this week is actually Val. So Val is a character uh, that didn't really last very long with us, no, right? So she was in the solo movie. Uh, I think we saw her for the first time about 15 minutes in. And then she's, spoiler alert, no longer with us after like 37 minutes. So only like 22 minutes of screen time. So 22 minutes of screen time. Uh, pretty interesting character. I think she had a lot of potential. I think she could have done a lot of cool things. Um, but again, didn't really make it very long with us. So if we think about Val, the character that actually... Uh, was was who she who played Val uh, was actually Thondaway Newton, and I believe I'm pronouncing her name correctly. She's a, a British actress who's been around for a really long time, playing a lot of different characters. In fact, when I went back and I and I learned more about her, the character that that she played that I would recognize first was actually in Mission Impossible Two. She actually played Naya, uh, who was actually a, a pretty key character in that movie, which is pretty cool. So. Uh, I would have not recognized her when I went back and saw that. That was pretty interesting. So uh, for Val, we're going to spend just a second talking about the metrics as far as how many cards are printed for her. So they did uh, 2,161 cards were printed by Tops. About 125 have been graded so far by PSA, uh, 87 in PSA 10 and 37 in PSA 9. So again, not a very long-lived character, Val. She sacrificed herself. Yep. We'll find that a lot that happens in Star Wars, but again, uh, a pretty cool character that I think maybe could have done some more for us in the galaxy, we'll say. I really hope 
hope they have some sort of backstory show or mention of her or something. That would Ooh. be really cool. Is that like a spoiler alert that you know of some sort of backstory like show that Disney Plus I, talked I, to you about? I, I wish. It, if I if I did, you know, I would tell you. All right, that'd be pretty cool. Well, again, short short video this week. Thank you guys again for joining us. We appreciate it. Uh, if you have any comments, uh, please let us know below about anything you'd like or want to change about our videos. But uh, thanks again for joining, and we'll talk to you guys soon.